What's up, Facebook? I hope you're having a phenomenal day. Instagram, thank you so much for joining us. Facebook, let me apologize for the weird glare situation going on. Instagram, too, I know it's very vibrant and bright on your end as well. Arizona doesn't do daylight savings time. So I'm used to doing these at 4.30 p.m. Uh, my time, which was kind of technically Pacific Standard Time as of Sunday uh, this past weekend. However, now it is 5.30 Mountain Time, and that is the Arizona time, too. So the sun is down. i got to turn the light on. It's kind of messing up my mojo, but I'm still here ready to deliver some awesome information to you and you this evening. Now, tonight, we are discussing one of the most common scenarios I have the pleasure of interacting with when it comes to body composition and weight loss goals. And that's, hey, I want to lose over 20 pounds of fat, uh, but by the way, I want to build some muscle too. Where do I begin? So this is a great question because there's so many misconceptions and myths surrounding building muscle, losing fat. Can you do so simultaneously? What is the optimal and sustainable approach to doing each? Well, first things first, the most efficient way to tackle goals of building muscle and losing fat are to dedicate yourself 110% to one goal at a time. Unless you are very new to exercise or Actually, let's just leave it there. You're very new to exercise. Your chances of building a significant amount of muscle and losing a significant amount of fat at the same time are slim to none. So for the 99% of you, I assume listening here who have some form of exercise background, well, we're going to assume that the most effective and efficient way to tackle both a muscle building and a fat loss goal is to dive into each of them individually with 110% effort. And the first point of our conversation begins with having a long-term plan. Now that we know we're going to tackle each goal head-on individually, we need to take a look beyond just our next three months of dieting or our three months of muscle building. We need to see how these two goals building muscle and losing fat work in the grand scheme of things over the next six, nine, even 12 months. So if you've watched me before, you know I'm a big, strong advocate of long-term nutrition periodization, and I recommend you plan out your subsequent dieting, maintaining, and massing phases for at least the next nine to 12 months so you better understand how this piece of the puzzle, meaning this particular phase, fits into the long-term equation and your long-term goals. Now, with that said, if you feel you have 20 pounds to lose, your first starting point is making sure you have a healthy, sustainable, and strong foundation of eating. You probably thought I was going to jump in and say, diet, diet, diet. We're going to get there, but you cannot have a successful diet and one that allows you to maintain your weight successfully unless you have a strong foundation of healthy, sustainable eating habits firmly in place. Now, let's assume that is all taken care of. Next up, you need to dive into a dieting phase. And I recommend you diet for anywhere between 10 to 14 weeks, aiming to lose weight at a rate of 0.5 to 1% of your body weight per week. Again, your target change in, or target rate of weight change should be a loss of 0.5 to 1.0% of your body weight. You're going to do this for 10 to 14 weeks, and then you're going to assess where you're at. You are either going to transition into a post-dieting maintenance phase, or potentially a massing phase. And to be honest with you, depending on your frame, your dieting history, how low you need to take your calories, most people are not going to be quite lean enough to embark on a massing phase immediately after that first diet. When it comes to um, acknowledging, or rather assessing is a better word, assessing whether or not you're in a good position to transition from your dieting phase to your massing phase, you can go the route of, oh, I'm below this percent body fat, and that's okay. I'm not a huge fan of, oh, I need to be below, uh, let's say for men, 10% body fat and women, 22 to 24% body fat. I'm not a fan just due to the high degree of error, unreliability, and inaccuracy associated with many common body composition methods. So what I like to look for instead is to actually look at pictures. You know, are your abs visible, men? Ladies, can you see the outline of your abdomen? What does your shoulder, your upper back definition look like? Those are some tall tale signs. If you feel you're lean, you've got a lot of definition in the upper body, the shoulders, the arms, the upper back, as well as the abdomen, that's a pretty good indicator that you are lean. And the reason I'm stressing being lean enough to mass is because your body 
builds muscle most efficiently when you start from a very lean baseline. The leaner you are to start, the higher the ratio of muscle gain to fat gain when it comes to building muscle or gaining weight rather during a massing phase. So it's important you start in a very lean state. Now, like I mentioned, most people need more than one diet to um, get in a position where they are set up for a successful massing phase. If you do not reach that position to be ready for a massing phase first, what you do at the end of your diet is you then enter a post-dieting maintenance phase for one to one and a half times the length of your dieting phase. So for instance, if you dieted for 12 weeks, I recommend a 12 to 18 week maintenance phase and then you do it all over again. Yes, you diet again. At this point, assuming you had a successful maintenance phase, and stayed within 1-3% to of your end of diet body weight, now you embark on diet number two. If that all goes successfully, you stay strong, compliant, till the very end, you are then likely in a pristine position to transition right into a massing phase. And Once we make that uh, that transition, we're going to gradually increase food, and we're going to aim for a rate of weight gain at a rate of 0.25 to 0.75 percent of your body weight per week. Now, to recap, if you want to gain or lose 20 pounds of fat and build muscle, the best way to approach that is to dedicate yourself to one specific goal at a time. And if you literally feel you have 20 plus pounds to lose, your best position to start is a dieting phase. And like I mentioned, you may need two dieting phases to achieve a position where you are lean enough to set yourself up for a successful massing phase where you actually put on significant muscle mass. Now, if you do not reach this position after one diet, you're going to transition into a post-dieting maintenance phase for one to one and a half times the length of your previous dieting phase, then transition into diet number two before ultimately, finally being graced with the opportunity to transition into a massing or muscle building phase. And that is how I strongly recommend you attack both goals, particularly when you feel you have a significant amount of weight to lose. Questions, comments, concerns, send me a message below. Instagram, send me a direct message. I would love to follow up on you. Happy to give you feedback on your proposed plan of attack for your long-term nutrition goals. Any other questions, feel free to reach out. I sincerely appreciate you and you, excuse me, and me not choking, taking a few minutes out of your uh, Tuesday evening to join me. Uh, I'll be back Thursday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time with more awesome information related to questions that you have asked me. If you have any questions, please do keep them coming. I love answering them directly as well as responding to them via a Facebook and Instagram live video because it allows me to help reach more and more people who likely have the same darn question but are hesitant to ask. So enjoy the rest of your evening, and I'll see you back here on Thursday.